Hi guys, my name is Megan from theblogwilsonhomestead.com and today I want to teach you how to use a Moby ring sling. Now this ring sling was gifted to me as part of a collaboration for Instagram, but I will link where you can get this on their website at mobyrep.com and also where you can buy it on Amazon. They have several different options for slings, but this is the 100% cotton one and it is the silver streak pattern, which I really like. I feel like it is kind of the vibe that I really like. It reminds me a little bit of like a farmhouse style fabric pattern. <laughs> I don't know, but I really like it personally. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, you might not know that I am a little bit obsessed with baby wearing. I will link my playlist down below with all my different tutorials on wraps and more of the strap style backpack carriers, woven wraps, and all of that good stuff. One of my favorite carriers are slings. I just think they are absolutely adorable. I love how they look and they are really quite functional. Now if I'm doing really hard work, I will use a wrap or a backpack carrier. Just for me personally, I do prefer those for more hard work, like if I'm going to be working in the garden or something. But for the most part, these things work out really well and I really like them. If I'm just walking around the house cleaning or doing some canning, if, especially if I'm just going to be standing and not like bending over a ton to be gardening. These are some of my favorite carriers. Now honestly, they don't look too complicated, but for me, these ring slings were a steeper learning curve than even the wraps. There's a few things you want to look out for, some safety checks and stuff, and make sure it's comfortable for both of you guys, but I will go into that once I have my baby in there. But I hope this is helpful, and let's get right into the tutorial. First thing you're going to do is you just hold this by the rings and I generally like to have the lighter side out but it really doesn't matter. Some ring slings have a pocket on one side kind of at the bottom of this tail it'll have a pocket on one of these sides. The Moby slings don't have them so you don't really have to worry about that it just depends on what side you like better which one you want out. So I'm going to put the light side out and put it over my shoulder. I started out with it going over my right shoulder that's how I kind of learned to wear the sling, but I'm right-handed, so I actually prefer to have it on my left shoulder, and that's just because this comes pretty far over your arm. It's kind of, it kind of cups your shoulder like this, and you don't have a ton of range of motion with this arm here. So because I'm right dominant, I want full range of motion with this arm, and I don't really care if I have all the range of motion with my left arm. So that's just why I prefer to do that. That's just something to keep in mind. But either side's fine, whichever you want to do. So I kind of cuff it over my shoulder like this, and then I'm just going to grab it behind me and make sure that it's not twisted. You don't want to accidentally grab the panel underneath and twist it like that. You want to grab the top. And this is just really going to help it be more comfortable once you have it on. So I have it over my back like this, not twisted. I'm just going to gather up all this fabric right here by the end and then I'm going to put the end through the rings here, right like that. Now they're through both rings and then I'm going to grab the end again and I'm going to find the ring on the bottom and I'm going to put it through the bottom ring. Now this is this next part is very important. It is going to make it so much more comfortable if you do this next part properly. So I'm going to make sure that all these folds right here are even. So I'm going to kind of pull this out right here. I'm going to find the edges of the sling. You want the edges to be really even. So here's this edge. I'm going to make sure that it's laying really even right here. You can see that edge. And then I'm just going to kind of evenly bunch this across. So I'm just using my fingers to make sure it's evenly bunched like that. Just like that until I find the other edge and then I'm just going to make sure it's in there flat and not bunched up. You can even go through that again if you're not totally sure. And then I pull it through there. So all these bunches are nice and even. And this is just going to make it so that when you pull the different rails it pulls through evenly. When you pull the top rail, you want it to tighten the top. You don't want it to be all bunched up and accidentally pull the bottom. It can just be very annoying if you don't get these on properly. I like to start with the rings higher up on my shoulder than they'll end up. That just makes it so that as I pull these rails to adjust it, if they come down a little bit, it's not a huge deal. You want them to end up at corsage level, so just right under your collarbone. 
but if you start up here then it doesn't really matter how much you pull on these as much it'll end up where it needs to be so I'm just going to kind of get these somewhat adjusted for my son he is about six months old of probably around 17 pounds and you'll kind of get the hang of this as you push your baby in and out now this is really big this is bigger than what I even use for my toddler so I kind of hold it out with my arm my elbows right here and I'll just tighten all this just to make sure that it's a bit smaller and I actually had one of these reels flipped so I'm just readjusting here to make sure that it's nice and even for when I want to put my baby in okay so then I pull this back up on my shoulder and this feels better so I can put my arm in it that's probably even a little too loose but I can adjust it after I get him in it so now I'm gonna go grab my son. Moments later. This is my son Demetrius. We call him Dimmy for short. So now you have the sling on, you have your baby out of it, and you're gonna put your baby over your shoulder, like you're gonna burp him, on the opposite side of where the rings are. So you put him, I'm gonna put him over my shoulder like this. Oh no, he has a leak. <coughs> he really wants to look at the camera, but you gotta put a face face button. So I have him supported with this hand, and then I'm just gonna reach through the sling like this and grab both of his feet just like this and then I'll kind of lower him into the sling like this and I start out with him just sitting on all the fabric like he really wants to look at that <laughs> that's so funny he his legs are bent I just start out with him like this and then I kind of lift him up and you don't need to look at that any any boy I'm gonna find my top rail and I'm going to pull it up over his back, just like that. Oh my god. You want to make sure that you get a really deep seat. So how I do that is I like to make sure I have plenty of fabric here, and I kind of reach under his leg like this, and pull it up as close to his belly button as I can get. So now he's sitting pretty deep, and now I'm going to tighten stuff, the top rail, I'm gonna tighten the bottom rail just so that that stays under his knees. Yeah. To tighten the bottom rail, I'm just gonna pull this down like this. That tightens the bottom rail. And that tightens under where his knees are. I don't want all the weight on his knees. I want the weight to be right here on his butt and his back. So, I'm gonna lift him up a little bit and tighten kind of in the middle, the middle rail, and that tightens right here. That's where I want all of his weight to be. If all of his weight is in his knees, he is not gonna be happy. Just make sure that that really deep seat is good still. Yeah. And then if you need to adjust the top, you can. That feels pretty good. And if you need to tighten it, it helps a lot to use his hand, lift up on their butt, and then tighten. If you're trying to tighten it while all their weight's in it, it's gonna pull these rings down a lot. And he is very wiggly. <laughs> and so he'll kind of straighten his legs, he'll he'll push his legs against me and then I'll have to readjust his deep seat. But after he falls asleep in this, he'll stop see how he's pushing like that and his legs go like that. And then I just pull his knees up and readjust the seat. There's a few things you want to keep in mind just for safety and comfort for both of you guys. You wanna make sure that their knees are higher than their butt. And this is true for any baby carrier. It's just gonna be so much better on their hips and their back, it's not very comfortable for them if their legs aren't in the proper position. So I want his legs and butt in an M position. So I want to go from his feet up to his knees, down to his butt, so like an M. We want to make sure that they're close enough to kiss, just like that. So he is kind of just at chin height and that is just about perfect. I really like this height for him. And then you also want to make sure that their airway isn't obstructed. So I want to make sure that I can see his nose and mouth at all times and make sure that he's still breathing and he's not getting suffocated in the fabric. So you just want to keep in mind on those three main safety checks and then I'll kind of bounce around and fall asleep. Yes. And then there's a couple ways that you can kind of support their head after they fall asleep. As you can see right now, there's not really much support right here. There's two ways that I know of to help support their head after they fall asleep. The first way is you take this whole tail and then you kind of fold it in half, just like this. And then you put it across the top of their back and you take the top rail of the sling and fold it over all of that. And then that kind of makes this nice little cushion right here. 
So his head's supported and will kind of lean against me and this will keep from like flopping back when he falls asleep. That is personally my favorite way to do it. But you can also, let's take this back out. You can take this log piece again and then you kind of twist it up like this. And then you just lay it across, just right here across their neck. And then you tuck it in right back here. And you can see that that's some good support too. So it's just gonna have their head lay against you when they fall asleep. But personally, I like the first way. It just feels a little bit more secure, but either way it is good. And then to take your baby out, I'm just gonna put this hand under his butt like this. I'll hold him up. And then I'm gonna pull on the top ring and that will loosen all the rails. And then I'll kind of reach in here and get under his arm and I'll bring this hand up here and reach under his other arm and then you can pull them out. <laughs> and that is how you put your baby in the front hold in the Moby ring sling. And he is really nice and comfy in here. I will do another video, kind of some ring sling troubleshooting. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Hey! Oh.